Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app. It's a one-stop shop for all the information you need to make smarter bets. Download the LineStar app today. Welcome to the NBA Prop Show presented by LineStar. I'm Shannon Somerville with your top three NBA player prop bets for today that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard, or wherever you place your bets. But if you do download those apps, make sure to use the promo code LineStar for up to $100 of your first deposit match. My co-host Tyler Weeman is off for today, so I will be holding it down solo. Do me a huge favor before we get into picks for today. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. A comment enters you into our daily prop bets contest, whereby if we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter wins $60. Hey, we don't talk the talk. We also walk the walk. We put together a ticket. Essentially, we put our picks on Underdog Fantasy. If we win, we give out the winnings to a randomly selected commenter, so make sure you comment below to enter into that. Let me know where you're headed. It's been a tough week. We've still managed to go 4-1 and one on our picks, though, this week. Yesterday on the show, we had Nick Claxton over on rebounds. He finished with 11, so we cashed that one. We got it at 10 and a half. We also had Dame Lillard over on points. 27 and a half was the line. He finished with 29. And then the only one that did not hit for us yesterday was Aaron Gordon. He only had five points and we needed him. I believe it was over 13 and a half. So didn't hit for us there. So let's get after it today. Try to go three and oh. So some randomly selected counter can win that $60. Now we've got a tough slate today. There's a lot of games that really don't really matter at all in terms of playoffs or seedings, but there are a couple that do. So I'm going to focus in on those games. The first game is going to be the New York Knicks going up against the Celtics. Now for the Celtics, this is a game that doesn't matter. They're already the one seed in the Eastern Conference. They've got that locked up and there really is no reason for them to trot out their stars in this one other than it's a nationally televised game. However, the New York Knicks, they're in third in the Eastern Conference and they could fall as low as six. So they kind of want to lock up the best seeding possible, especially given the fact that Julius Randle is not going to be available in the playoffs, which was a huge blow to Knicks hopes. I'm a Knicks fan, so that one hurt. But I like Jalen Brunson tonight. He's the Knicks' best player this season for good reason. We're going to go over on points here for him at 30 and a half. Line starts projecting Brunson for 39.5, so considerable edge according to the line star model. Now, Brunson averaging 35.6 over the last five games, so he's been on a tear. In fact, 34 points the last time he faced the Boston Celtics, and that was with most of their stars in the game. And looking at this injury report, Boston right now has four or five starters listed as questionable. Jalen Brown, Drew Holiday, Chris Taps Porzingis, Jason Tatum, and then also Al Horford is listed as questionable. So again, not really any big reasons why the Celtics should be playing a lot of minutes with their stars in this one. But the Knicks, this is a game they got to win. They got to lock up the best seating possible. So if it's a game the Knicks need to win, you got to rely on the best player on the Knicks, and that is Jalen Brunson. So we're going to go over on that points total. For my next pick, I'm going to the Sacramento Kings game. They're going up against the New Orleans Pelicans, and this is an interesting game because right now the Pelicans are in sixth in the Western Conference, and the Kings are in eighth place, but separated by just two games with three games to go. So a lot can happen in the last couple games, and both teams trying to avoid, of course, that play-in tournament. So we're going to start things off with the Kings side of things, and I'm going to their point guard, De'Aaron Fox, over on his points total right now at 27 and a half. Line star projecting Fox for over 30 points in this one. He's averaging 28.4 over the last five, and he's been over in three of the last five games. The Kings, remember, they are without, of course, Kevin Herter for the year and Malik Monk in this one. So Fox might get a little boost there. Pelicans on the other side are without Brandon Ingram, who's been a good defender for them this season. He's made huge strides there and improvements. Huge wingspan to contest shots. So without him, I like Fox's position. Also, New Orleans allows the fewest points in the paint, but where they do allow points is on the perimeter. They're just 24th in opponent three-pointers made, where Fox has been absolutely lights out lately. He's been averaging just under five threes a game over the course of this month. He had seven on Tuesday. So watch out for Fox from three-point range tonight against a New Orleans Pelicans team that does give up some threes, and he's been on fire lately. So we're just going to roll with the Kings point guard over 27 and a half points. Flipping over to the Pelican side of things, I'm looking at their guard, CJ McCollum, over 23 and a half points. Line Star's projection for McCollum is 31.8, so considerable edge according to those Line Star models. McCollum's average on the season is just 19.7, but over the last month, he's been on fire. 28.4 is his average in that span, and he's gone over that 23 and a half mark for the last five games. Going up against Sacramento, they're pretty good, six in points to opposing guards. 
but the last time that he faced them, he put up 30 points against them. And the Pelicans are without Brandon Ingram. What does that mean for CJ McCollum? Well, he gets a 13% increase in usage, 13% increase in points per 100. And this is, like I mentioned, a game that matters. We've got playoff implications here, a one-point game spread. I like the over here for CJ McCollum on his points. So just to recap what our three picks are, what we're sending in this ticket, Jalen Brunson over 30 and a half points, De'Aaron Fox over 27 and a half points, and CJ McCollum over 23 and a half points. Now, this slate is certainly not for the faint of heart. It's a tough one. So play accordingly and, of course, bet responsibly as always. If there's any picks that you guys are eyeing that maybe I missed out on, let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys, see where you're headed tonight in NBA action. No MLB picks today. We don't have as many games to choose from. There's mostly early games, so we're going to shy away from that for today. And then Tyler will be back tomorrow. We'll be back with both NBA and our MLB shows, which we've been doing pretty well on both of those. This week's been a good week for us here on the Line Star YouTube channel. So if you could do us a huge favor, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And again, a comment below enters you into that contest. Hopefully we'll fire off the money guns again tomorrow and we will be successful with these three props. Also, I wanna hear from you if you think these picks are absolutely crazy too. Let me know in the comments. Wanna hear from you guys. Good luck in all of your NBA betting endeavors for tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.